Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Nate Anime, and welcome back to my channel. So finally, after a couple of weeks of waiting, we finally got some gameplay of Need for Speed Unbound. And I gotta say, it looks very good. Kind of almost raw-ish gameplay of um, Need for Speed Unground. Because um, there's not really much of those graphics in the game that a lot of people have been complaining about and talking about and stuff like that. It does look to be, you know not as bad as it seems like again as i said in the last video these are probably all just vanity items honestly like you can pro you probably have the option to take this off actually in fact i you do have the option to keep these off because the need for speed account on twitter actually confirmed this so yeah you don't need to have these graphics on as you can see right here they're really really almost not even present i mean i wouldn't mind you know, having such, you know, crazy animations, as long as it looked real. You know, like the cartoonish effects, like, you see this right, you see like the cartoon effects right there when he, uh, just, when the, uh, the Lotus just, um, did a power slide just now. I don't kind of, I don't really like those type of effects. I like it better if it was just, you know, like, real smoke with that type of color, you know? But, yeah, gameplay looks good. Um, physics, they look okay, again don't really know how the physics are going to play until I am able to actually play the game itself so you know for right now I'm only assuming that the the gameplay or the physics look are good I don't know again I just do not know but anyway so let me start looking through the trailer here so let's start at the beginning of the trailer and as you can see right here there's a nice view of Lakeshore at night this is like Chinatown so let me get in the Chinatown and Need for Speed game. I haven't had a kind of like an area like that since uh, probably Need for Speed Carbon. Even though Need for Speed Underground had the best Chinatown, honestly. But yeah, we're getting a little Chinatown-ish looking area right here. This is kind of based off of Chicago or in Illinois. So yeah, a nice little shot of Lake Shore in Need for Speed Unbound. Now let's take a look at the... where is it? Yeah, let's take a look at the hood, or the HUD right here. So, I say I am liking the HUD of this game. Looks really good. Um, kind of reminds me, or actually kind of gives me nostalgic vibes of Need for Speed Underground. Especially this part right here. I don't know. Something about this part just makes it feel, you know, a little bit more nostalgic to Need for Speed Underground 1 and actually 2. Um, this speedometer, though, does look actually much better than it did in Need for Speed Heat and basically all the other previous Need for Speeds except for 2015. 2015 actually looked just as good as this. I don't know why they stopped doing that after 2015 and started using weird like digital techometers and stuff like that. I don't know. I didn't like that. I like it more like this. It feels more grounded. I feel like I'm more likely to look at this more than I did when I was playing something like Need for Speed Payback. And then we come down here to the HUD, um, you can see it says you're being chased by six cops. Again, this feels very nostalgic to uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, actually, because we haven't, I don't think we've actually had this type of, you know, setup since Need for Speed Most Wanted uh, and Need for Speed Carbon, and I think, I think also Need for Speed Undercover too. Um, haven't had this type of setup. I am glad to see this is back. You know, kind of gives you a little bit more, you know, of a sense of how many cops are actually chasing you and how like serious this uh, the situation that you're in, you know, compared to just seeing a whole bunch of cops and cars flying at you. Um, again, we do have the heat level. This guy is at heat level five, so he's at the biggest heat right now. And then to the top right of the screen right here, it says at risk eighteen thousand dollars. So eight or eighteen thousand five hundred, I should say. I'm going to assume it's going to be like Need for Speed Heat, but difference is it's going to be with money. So I can only assume that this is probably going to work very similar to how like Grand Theft Auto does, where you when you do all these missions, you get the money. The money's in your pocket, and when you get shot out in free roam. In Grand Theft Auto, you actually lose the money in your pocket. This right here looks like that you have eighteen thousand dollars in your pocket right now, and if the cops bust you, 
you're probably going to lose all that. And there is another screenshot that does confirm that you're going to have a bank that's separate that the cops probably won't be able to get to. Unless you probably, you know, don't have any money on you in your pocket, they're probably going to end up taking money out of your bank. Here we go, right here at this screen. So yeah, this seems to be like the money that you have in your pocket, and the green seems to be the money that you have in your bank. So, like if the cops bust you, you're probably going to lose $31,000, and you won't be able to put it in your bank. But this right here is protected, and you probably won't be able to lose any money in there again unless you don't have any money in your pocket the cops will probably end up going into your bank so that is something very interesting and kind of cool to see in this game um do like this part right here where you're able to bet on racers so i'm assuming when you win the race uh if you bet on like this person you'll probably get like an extra bonus for that i hope i do hope though in the future uh while going through the story you'll be see much higher uh, increase in payout for these bets instead of like $1,750 like eh I can see that kind of you know kind of boosting up a little bit more it'll probably be no more than probably $10,000 or something like that so so it does appear that we have kind of like a playlist like a challenge playlist very similar to how um they do it in Forza uh for example um like right now, this is a whole week. Uh, we can do a whole bunch of stuff in this whole entire week. But I think the difference between this and the seasons that they have in Forza, uh, you get a challenge every single day compared to Forza where it's just, you know, a whole bunch of challenges and a whole bunch of races for that season and that's it. And then you wait for the next season. No, you're going to get a different challenge for this every single day. So like, for example... On Monday, it does appear that you may have to have an A-class car to be able to participate in this Monday event. Same thing goes with Tuesday, and same thing, same thing goes with Friday. Like, you're going to need to have, like, a specific vehicle that's specifically tuned, that's, like, an A-class, an S-class, or, you know, or S-plus class, which does seem to be a thing in this game. Um, you will need... To have those type of tier of cars to be able to participate in these events and actually from the way it looks you can actually win cars from here too as you can see right here on saturday you can actually win a gtr and you'll need an s class vehicle to be able to um win this car and win the money as well oh, wait buy in sixty thousand dollars oh so you have to forfeit money so technically in a way you're kind of actually just buying the car but you have to win the weight you have to win the race to actually buy the car i hope this is like a way to like keep like need for speed unbound as active as possible and hopefully this is a sign that you know ea or criterion won't drop the game after a year because this does look like something that will need to be updated on a daily basis see right here now this is something very interesting very interesting if you see this thing right here this is actually a person these are actually people out on the street so we did get something like this very similar in need for speed payback but they were all you know blocked behind walls and you couldn't really interact with people there are people out on the street um i don't think they can get hit i think if they were able to get hit i think this uh game would get rated m and end up being as bad as a grand theft auto game because now you're killing people but it, we have people walking out on the street that is uh, actually very interesting detail even right here wait that was a person right over there that's kind of cool that's kind of cool so it kind of makes the world feel a little bit more alive and something also i want to confirm which i did talk about in the last video how um in one of the f in one of the photos that ea released um it showed the bridges of lakeshore city uh actually up in certain areas and my question was you know would we be able to you know jump over those bridges during a race and while i don't think this actually confirmed during a race this does actually confirm in free room that these bridges will be up as we can see right here with this jump right over this bridge yeah that is kind of cool to see that back in the game very uh need for speed underground one 
nostalgia vibes right there. I hope that's uh, also in races too, because again, I can't confirm that that'll be in races. That was just in free mode, but I'm pretty sure if it's in free mode, it's most likely will be in races too. But what I hope is that it won't just be the same exact bridge that, you know, certain bridges, you know, depending on like the time of day or just, you know, just random events during the day, you know, that... You know, some bridges will be up, some bridges will be down, you know. We'll get a random, you know, choice here. It won't just be, you know, a static bridge that's always up all the time. I don't know. I think that's it would be a little bit better if it was, like, randomized and stuff like that. So that would be cool to see. And then something else I want to point out. We get a much better look here at the Ford Crown Victoria, which, again, I think this does actually confirm that this car will not be in the game as a police car that it has been officially retired as a police car because so far with all of the trailers all the screenshots and everything i've seen from this game so far that ea has given us and criteria it does i have not seen this vehicle roaming around the city as a police car chasing us the player in this game so i think it is safe to assume that this car has been officially retired as a police car and has now been added to the car list for us to play in a Need for Speed game. And also a very interesting move by EA and Criterion themselves to actually add this car as a playable, drivable vehicle in the game that we can now drive, customize, and do a whole bunch of crazy stuff with. Um, but you know, I did actually notice though, and I did think about it, that they actually just probably add this card to kind of beef up the car list because they already got the license to make this a police car, so why not make it into a car that's, you know, drivable and customizable, which, because so far, I mean, the car list that we have in the game is not very interesting. Um, we do, I know we do have the S14, the Nissan Prototype Z, and the Mazda RX-8, which I do have to point out, I think the only reason we got the Mazda RX-8 is because Criterion Games recently remastered Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, the RX-8 was in the game, and probably while relicensing the vehicle, Criterion probably reached out to Mazda and was like, you know, well, since we're licensing this car, to be back in this brand in this brand new remaster of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Do you think you guys would be able to allow us to use your car again in this new game that's coming up? And they probably just said yes. So that's probably why we have that game. And on top of that, they already have the license to use that car. So I guess why not let them use that car in the next game? But yeah, I mean, really, the car list is really not that crazy. Who knows? They might add some crazier cars later on down the line through updates and DLCs and stuff like that, but for right now though, I mean, the car list isn't that crazy, but it's kind of cool though, it is kind of cool to see that we finally get the Crown Victoria as a playable, drivable car. And again, just re-looking at the trailer one last time, I mean, it looks very good, especially the handling and everything else in the game, and... I mean, yeah, I just can't wait until we can, uh, you know, get our hands on this game. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully Criterion actually pushes out some type of beta for, you know, at least everybody to, you know, kind of feel the game, you know, kind of get, you know, kind of like test it out, see how the game runs and stuff like that. So, yeah, again, though, I am very excited for this game. It has been a very long time since I've been excited for a Need for Speed game, even Need for Speed Heat. While Need for Speed Heat's good, it... It wasn't really like, you know, that crazy exciting, you know, it didn't give me that exciting feeling and stuff like that. But looking at this, though, I am actually excited and I cannot wait for what Need for Speed Unbound can bring to the table when it comes to racing games. So, yeah. Anyways, I know I didn't go too much into detail in this video because um, normally I don't even do these type of videos. But I know other channels out there are going like crazy detail and stuff like that and blah blah blah. I'm just looking at it from my perspective, which is a normal gamer perspective in my eyes. Um, and just seeing, you know, how the game looks, you know. And personally, I think I think this might turn out to be a very good game. I don't want to overhype 
this game because there have been times where we have overhyped a Need for Speed game, kind of similar to Payback. Don't want to overhype the game too much because if you overhype the game too much and it ends up looking like crap, you know, it's not going to be a good feeling once you, you know, finally get the game, play it, and you end up getting disappointed. So I'm going to stay as neutral as I can. Excited, yes, but not, you know, crazy hype for this game. I'm, I'm trying not to be as hyped for this game as I've been for previous Need for Speed game. Until I actually get the game in hand and start playing it, then we'll see if this is a game to get hyped for. But for now, I'm staying very neutral until I'm able to actually play the game. So yeah, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video of me um, reacting and giving my opinion on the Need for Speed Unbound gameplay trailer. And um. Hope to see you guys in my next video.